Tell me this doesn't look like the most scuffed MW2 you've ever seen. Alright, what's going on everybody? It is your boy, Delta bringing you guys with my first ever world at war zombies mod video for you guys today and in today's video we are obviously playing the map rust from modern warfare 2 on the world at war uh engine it is basically just a whole bunch of mods and it adds like cool features to the game and basically we're just gonna start this up we're gonna be doing a solo episode but for future references we are going to have more than just myself on these videos Oh my god, look at this Widow's Wine, dude. Look at that. That is absolutely crazy, dude. Can I... Oh, I can I can get points from these. Dude, who's who, dude? Let's go. All sorts of fun stuff. We got the USP to start off with. That is awesome. I wonder if there's Pack-A-Punch on this map, honestly. Because we got who's who... We got Mule Kick. What else do we got? We got Widow's Wine, obviously. We got Speed Cola. Let's go. I love this map. Ooh, we got Electric Cherry. Let's go. We got Jug. I believe that is the Pack-A-Punch jingle that I'm hearing. Yup, we got Pack-A-Punch right over there. Let's go. Wonder. Oh, I spot PhD, dude. Let's go. There's the last zombie as well. I wonder, is there a perk up here? Let me check and see. Oh, and we got dead shot. Let's go. And stamina up. Let's go. Dude, I'm already having so much fun with this map. This is crazy. All right. So basically, y'all know Rust. Y'all know everything about this map already, probably. And I am playing in the most high definition settings right now. So you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, basically. Plus, I have a added saturation filter onto my uh, color corrector. Oh, and then we got uh, we got quick revive. That's also very good. OK, we're out of points. Or, uh, we are out of ammo. Let's see what we can get from the box. I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. MW2 weapons. P90. Let's go. Sounds exactly like what it sounded like in MW2. That is also the greatest thing ever. Oh, and for the rounds, I just realized. But uh, every time a round ends, it uh, it uh, does the Modern Warfare 2 leveling up sound. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm watching the GPU usage, which is my graphics card. And it's only using like 50% of it just to load this map. So I should have no problems recording this. But we got a nuke. Let's go. What is what is this boy up here doing? What is what is he doing? What you doing, meathead? You're dead now. Oh, he's close. All right. First essential perk, Juggernug. Oh, we got double tap as well. I didn't realize that. That's cool. So we bet we got the basic four perks. We got Electric Cherry, PhD is up there, Stamina, Widow's Wine, and Deadshot. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pretend that did not just happen. We're, we're gonna pretend that did not happen. We're just gonna fast forward to where we were. All right, round three. Hit the box. We got the Ranger. Personal favorite shotgun. I forgot you can't reload this gun until your clip is fully empty. Perks are glowing blue now instead of green. I think that's quite weird. Not a very bad weapon though. I was expecting the shotgun. Ooh, triple collat, dude. I was expecting the shotguns to actually suck on this game, but I guess not. Let's try and hit the box one more time, just for old time's sake. Let's see what we get. The WA 2000. And it's got the sticker. It's got the sticker. I'll show you guys. I'll zoom in, but it's got the stupid tongue stick out sticker. Let's see. Oh, legendary. All right, round four. Let's use the WA 2000 for a round. Oh, this thing is a zombie killing machine. Okay, it didn't reload. It's got 10 bullets to a mag. 
Dude, I wonder what it's like, pack a punch. Where's that last zombie at, dude? I, I, that's the only thing I hate about this map is like, you can't tell where the last zombie is and he's like gone. Oh, there you are. Oh, what if you can climb the ladder? You can climb the ladder, dude. That's dope. I didn't actually think that they were gonna implement that. Yup, PhD flopper. Let's just buy it already. Oh, I gotta. Oh my God, you can do the explosions from Ascension. That is amazing, dude. I feel like this is going to be way too easy because look at this. Ooh, the ACR. Same sound. That is amazing, dude. Same sound from Modern Warfare 2. I think all of these guns sound the exact same from Modern Warfare 2, but I might just be tripping. All right, it's time to buy a speed cola because I will die without speed cola. Everybody be like, nah, like get get double tap or like get dead shot and be like, no, dude. Every time I get sleight of hand or uh, sorry, speed cola, I do significantly better while playing because I can reload faster. I don't have to worry about like big hordes of zombies and such. And it just makes things so much easier. Okay. I do not want to go down quite yet. Buy electric cherry. And let's go over and buy quick revive. At least I think you can buy more than four perks. Yup, I would assume so. You put all the, all the different perks on the map. I would assume you can buy all of the different perks. But uh, yeah, this is a way different experience than I, what I was expecting. I was expecting just to be like a box and like maybe like the basic four perks. No, you got like eight different perks, is it? I don't know if I can count or not, but I definitely think that there is a lot more than what there should be for this specific map. Like they added who's who out of all the perks they could have used. And there we go. We have 11 rounds down. We got Widow's Wine. Let's pick up Who's Who. Got the Who's Who jingle. I actually like the Who's Who jingle a lot. I just didn't like Die Rise whatsoever. So it was one of those perks that like, I never got the opportunity to use, even though it's like not that great of a perk. It's still a perk nonetheless. It's a Treyarch perk. I appreciate it. Even though it's god awful. The one thing that I'm surprised they didn't add was Tombstone. Maybe it was too hard to code to, uh, Tombstone into the game. All right, now we're gonna go buy Mule Kick. And a nuke. All right. Now we're gonna go and buy us a new perk, uh, not perk, gun. What is this? The, the PP200, I forgot this gun existed. Yup, it looks like, looks like electric charities. Sorry, not charity, chair E. Electric cherry is working just fine. And widow's wine is also working correctly. Oh, this gun has like no ammo and it does like little to nothing. I think we're going to trade this out to be quite honest with you. The USP tactical. I already have this gun. This was the starter pistol. What the frick? All right, time to buy a double tap and kill some kids. Okay, that still does the equivalent to nothing. Oh my, it's like Double tap sounds like it added like rapid fire to like all these guns, which I don't think rapid fire was introduced to these guns. So it's just a fire fa uh, faster fire rate. All right, I'm gonna buy dead shot. I can jump up here. Thank you. Is there a perk that I don't have yet? I have electric cherry. I have Widow's Wine. I have those two. 
I have speed cola and I have jug and I have electric cherry and I have PhD. So I think these are all of the perks for this map. Unless I am like randomly missing like tombstone or something or like vulture aid. That's another perk I just remembered. It should have been on this game. Dude, look at this. I am melting through these zombies. Let's go pack a punch this ACR. Let's see what it's called. The Grab Twist Pole. That is an awesome name for it. But uh, like I was trying to say earlier, um, I am going to be doing some of these mods with one of my friends and his name is Crypto. Uh, his channel name is going to be Crypto Plays. He's a upcoming YouTuber. He's uh, just starting out. So if y'all don't mind, go over to his channel link down in the description i have his stuff up on the screen all of his twitters and stuff like that i'll put all this stuff down in the description and i will for sure uh be playing zombies maps with him on world at war or black ops 3 because i'm getting black ops 3 pretty soon as well for the pc so it is going to be a lot like more fun doing these mods all right Let's, let's definitely pack a punch this WA 2000 and see what we get out of this. It's called the Wawa Gas. That is hilarious, dude. That is just great. I think th round 30 is a good place to start off with. Wait. Oh, this is automatic too. This is overpowered. That is hilarious. Gosh, dude. I was expecting this to be a lot harder, to be quite honest. I'm out here using a sniper, an automatic sniper on a map that shouldn't even been able to, like, be created for zombies. And we out here just slaying. I can't even check and see how many kills I get. I'll just have to wait until I die, which will probably be round 30, like I said. It's going to be one of them things that I definitely end up doing. 20 minutes later. Oh god. Oh god. I'm down. Oh. I literally couldn't do anything about that. I just got trampled into a zombie horde. That was nuts. Alright. 1,127 kills. 162,420 points. A. 250 headshots. Nuts. Alright. So we're gonna quit out of this map. Okay, so now that we have finally played the map, I'm going to give my official opinion on the map where I'm gonna rate it out of 10. 10 being the best and one being the worst. So for starters, it was a pretty easy map to start off with and throughout it, it got a little bit hectic, quote unquote, but it wasn't anything too complicated that I couldn't do. So uh, it added in a lot of perks that I did not expect like Widow's Wine or PhD or Deadshot or even who's who that was a crazy add-in to the map so we got all those we got exclusively mw2 maps i would have liked to see some world at war guns at least with inside of the game like not even like a, the wonder waffle or the vunda waffle if you guys will and um, i would have at least liked to see a couple of the fan favorite world at war guns inside of this map to see so as an overall, I'm going to give this map a seven and a half, not because of the guns not being in there, because of the fact that I feel like it's a quite easy map, but for one, add in more guns and two, maybe add in a couple more perks. Maybe. I don't know. This is just my first ever rating on a zombies map custom from the community thank you guys for watching today's video definitely drop a like and subscribe on this video for more videos like this and uh comment your favorite part comment your favorite gun or your favorite pack a punch gun and maybe you'll be in a shout out for the next video that i make anyways guys it's been delta and i'm out of here peace out